I can't do anything right now, bro. <laughs> oh my God, bro. This is a horrible day, dude. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, FBI Asmaz, back with another video. Today, we on some deadlifts. We got some back. We got a lot of things. We got muscles. We got the body. But either way, we got to get you to like and subscribe to the channel because that's the only way you're going to get the gains. If you watch this video and you don't like the video, you're not going to get the gains that you thought you was going to get if you had done so. You feel me? So we got deadlifts right now. We're going to play around, man. If y'all seen on your Instagram, I was playing around with doing some sumos. Bro, my sumo max is the same as my conventional max. Now, I know that's kind of like weird for you because you, you would say, well, Teron, wouldn't your sumo be higher than your conventional? I don't pull sumo at all, ever. Not at all, nada. I'm a conventional puller. Sumo is weird for me, but I've been studying Jamal, bro. I've been studying that nigga, bro. I, I see, I, hey, Jamal, I've been, I've been on that ass, boy. I've been on it. So we're gonna do some uh, accessory work. I got my conventional deadlifts and then some sumo accessory, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get it. Picking it up is fine. Putting it down is what sucks. So, what I'm stuck between right now is what I want to go um, USPL or USPA, I think that's what it's called. Whichever one, the difference between like the deadlift bar. There's a difference between deadlift bar and on top of that, between weigh-in time. I would prefer, I think it's USPA. Damn, am I saying it? Am I right? USPAL is the one Russ is in. The other one, what's the other one? I think it's just USPA, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, the one that Jamal is in, they have tested and non-tested on that one, but they have 24 hour weigh-ins, which is a benefit, and deadlift bar, which is another benefit. So I'd rather do that because the USPL, bro, the two hour weigh-in time, that's also bullshit, bro. That's also some bullshit. And, and then on top of that, USAPL, they have a, a 230 class. I mean, USPA, I think they have a 230 class. And I want to compete in a 230 class. I don't want to be too, like, 40 or whatever. So, and on 24 hours, I can put on weight, like, crazy. You know what I'm saying? I can put on extra weight. So, watch your back. I can put on extra weight. So, it will, I feel like the other one will be a more benefit for me um, as far as, like, what standards they have versus what, what uh, Russ does. February 18th, February 18th, Alpha Lee, full birthday drop. What you see right now is new, it's not even out yet. We just go Aftermath, where I got like a little, we got new, new shorts, new infinity shorts, right here. Cotton stringers, uh, different colors. I have a, I have a clothing haul coming out for men, men Alpha Lee. So I got like 20 some items. So definitely check that out after this video and uh, we just go to Aftermath.
I can't do anything right now, bro. <laughs> oh my God, bro. This was a horrible day, dude. So, I just took a break. I had to like go upstairs and I don't know what it is, but I feel like a minor strain in my quads right now. Like there's something in my quads that it feels like a, like a pre, I don't know. It's like right here and it's like shooting up my side, dude. So, we're just continue to exercise and get off this back shit, bro. I'm, I'm so pissed off, bro. I'm not even, I wanna, I wanna leave right now, but I'm not gonna leave. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it real for y'all today. Everything feels hard. This is one of those days where I just have, I'm just mentally trying to get through. The deadlifts, I couldn't, there's no way I could have pushed through that physically and done what I was supposed to do today for deadlifts. Um, I went a bit overboard because I was like, I was feeling good, especially pulling up to the 700, 725, move fast. I was like, shit, let's go ahead, you know what I'm saying? which it's not recommended, um, but I kind of just killed it for myself. You know, just, I don't know. I, I came in here with a plan, got off track, and then got even just frustrated with the people around and, you know, and, and the vibe in here is just hella off. And I'm like, and I'm just talking to myself like, damn, why did I even try that shit today? Cause today was not the day, you know? No matter how much the weight was, today was not the day. I wasn't even would have been satisfied even if I did hit it because the vibe is just so off in here. I would have just been like, eh, you feel me? So, but I'm just trying to push through this shit, bro, because it's just, it's just one of those days, you feel me? All right, what's up, y'all? Look, I'm gonna be a hundred, bro. I'm gonna be where, 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 where my mic at, bro. I'm gonna be a hundred, bro. This is this is for everybody who feel the same way. Today's training was trash. Everything about today was trash. This video was trash. So if you made it this far, you're not trash because this shit was not the vibe. When I get home, I'm gonna try to do as much as I can to this shit, bro, to make it somewhat interesting. But like today's training protocol was just completely off but that's cool because we always had days like that you know i'm still in here so i might even fuck around and eat come back later to get some real work done but yo the vibe the vibe of the gym was just not it was it wasn't today though you feel me i should have took that other pre-workout today with like the dmha or whatever in it to like zone in and shit but either way like and subscribe to the channel more videos to come appreciate you guys peace out